Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a PVC pipe violin from start to finish. To start, you need to put a pot of cold water on the stove. This will help conduct the heat away from the burner so it doesn't damage it. And to bend the pipe, you need a pair of gloves because it gets quite hot. Now you want to turn the stove on to about medium and let it warm up for a few minutes. Once it's warm, you take the piece of pipe and you hold it above it without touching it and you slowly rotate it. What I'm doing is I'm going to make the scroll first. That's how I always start. And then once it's soft, you just take it and bend the scroll. It's a little bit challenging. You have to get a grip on it before it cools off. And you just take it and just roll it like this. It's very challenging. It's very tricky. I'm trying to get it. Bend it one more time. And there you can see it. And you just hold it like this for a few minutes till it cools off. And once that part is cool, you should have a nice scroll that looks like that. The next thing you need is a fine point sharpie, a ruler, some masking tape, and the scroll. Now you want to take the scroll and measure down three and a quarter inches and put a little mark. Then you want to take your mark and put a little masking tape on this side of it. Then you want to take the scroll, put this piece of tape on it so it makes a perfect center line. You'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. Once you have the piece of tape marking the center, then you want to trace it like this. Next I take it and I stick it in the vise like this and I start cutting the peg box. I start by cutting halfway down through here like this. And then you come back here and cut it halfway through. Right at the end of the dot, like right where the dot is. Just cut it down about halfway through. And now you want to take your Dremel tool and cut out the line that you traced on here. Just like that. Now this next part is a trick and a half. You have to heat this up to bend this. And you have to heat it up in a way that the scroll doesn't come undone. And to keep the scroll from coming undone, you gotta dip it in this water that I have right here. Now once I have it heated up, I have to take the screwdriver, wedge it in there, and open this up and slide this block in so I could open up the peg box. Now as you can tell, there is nothing easy about doing this. Plus you gotta keep the water from dripping on the burner. So it could crack it. And once it's warm, then you can bend it. Just a screwdriver and open it up. Take this block and wedge it in there without breaking it. And just stick it in there like that and squeeze it. Make sure it's straight and squeeze it. Make sure it's straight. And there you have the peg box. I'm gonna make sure this is straight. And that's how I make a peg box. The next thing you need to do is bend the neck to the correct angle. I usually measure down about four and a half inches and put a mark right there. To bend the neck to the correct angle, you need one of these, a three quarter inch conduit bender. And now you need to heat it so you can bend the neck to the correct angle. Just heat it like you do, like I did before. Now when the pipe's warm, you take it, you stick it in the conduit bender, you line it up with the arrow, and you bend it to the correct angle. You just want to bend it a few degrees, just a couple degrees. Put it in there like that. And let it cool. Make sure it's straight. And just let it cool off for a few minutes. Now you're going to need to bend this a little bit more than you need to, because when the strings are at full tension, this will bend, and you need to compensate for it. That's the real trick. The next thing you need to do is make the tailpiece, bridge, fingerboard, and chin rest. To make them, I took the appropriate lengths of pipe. I did the same trick with the tape and put a center line on them. I sliced it with the Dremel tool. I stuck the pieces in the oven at about 200 degrees until they were soft. I opened the pieces of pipe up. I sat them on the floor and flattened them with a board that I stood on. To make these parts, I just took some cardboard from some old cereal boxes, and I freehanded some patterns, and I traced them on here, and I just cut them out with a jigsaw. Thanks for watching part one of my video on how to make a PVC pipe violin. Part two should be easily found on my channel.